The new custom battle mode that actually allows you to create your own stories has finally been revealed to us in full in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and it is glorious. We can add our own cutscenes, we can make our own scenarios, you can even customize the way the camera turns, as well as allow super attacks in cinematics. It's so beautiful! Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve OJ here, and I actually wanted to go over the custom battle mode that was quickly shown in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's most recent gameplay showcase, as well as in a few of the gameplay demo players. They actually got a video showing more about the custom battle mode, and before I go directly into that, I actually want to talk about how custom battle mode itself is being used in the actual Dragon Ball Sparking Zero campaign. So if you wanted to know what the limitations were, or what was possible in custom battle mode, look no further than the actual Dragon Ball Sparking Zero campaign, because a lot of the assets that they use in custom battle mode are reused in the story mode. Leave a like and a comment of what you would like to see in custom battle mode as well as what your favorite anime moment from any anime would be recreated in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now you can see stuff like the screen transitions such as the black with the character silhouettes in the middle of it in their highlighted colors as well as the camera pans and the start and stop animation of a lot of things is actually reused in the story mode. You can see even it goes to the extent of super attacks in the story mode. So what they showed us in the trailers for custom battle mode was actually really, really like they 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 barely showed us anything by comparison. You could see even the effects here of, for example, characters like Beerus charging their key and then it stopping into like a splash effect of his energy are redone in the story mode, but with super attacks like we see when Gohan busts up the ground and headbutts Raditz. It's actually insane that we'll be able to make cutscenes of this level. But first, let me say, we will not be able to ever obviously reuse like the motion capture level animation. If for some reason they allowed us to be able to do that, that would actually be like mind numbingly insane. What we have is already like brain meltingly hot. This is like the most unique feature in any Dragon Ball game, like by far already. So I don't think we can do the motion cap le level animation, but everything else seems like it's up for grabs because you can even see that there's settings for relaxed facial expressions characters landing, characters crossing their arms when they land, character one and two's positions, the camera pan. It's all of these unique features that we've never, ever, ever been able to do before. Like, oh my God. Another insane aspect is that in the mode, we can see if there is 3D cut and 2D cut. Now, we never can see what a 2D cut is, but I imagine it would actually follow a 2D art style or maybe a 2D rendition of the 3D models for the cutscenes instead. And the 3D cut is the ones we've been seeing the whole time where you actually just adjust your character's models and they do exist in a third dimensional space. You could spin around them, hover, etc, etc. Another cool feature you could do with the scenarios in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is the amount of characters that can be in them. You can actually see that in Face Off 1, it's a 2v2. And in Face Off 10, you can do a 3v7. The options for the face-offs are insane to the point where I think some characters for the selection mode might actually not be playable characters. A good example is uh, one of the cutscenes in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Story Mode actually features Boma alongside Goku and the gang when they're facing off against Raditz. And that one is in a similar style to the ones that are in the custom battle mode. I think characters like Boma and Chichu, who aren't necessarily playable, unless we find out they are, are actually playable when the full game comes out, uh, characters like them who aren't playable, you might be able to just insert them into cutscenes just just to add extra dynamicism. For example, we have options like 2v10 and so on, even though the game is a 5v5 game at max, meaning you can just have extra characters watching fights or cutscenes in the background, kind of like the Cell games, right? I imagine the Cell games would probably be the best example as to how to show off kind of game modes like this, because you have all the people who are watching the fights, plus Hercule and the announcers, and I think you can get every single person watching, since we know the World Tournament announcer actually has a model in this game as well. So on top of having fighters you can play as, there are fighters who you can choose to not play as and have them spectating, and then other characters who are not even fighters, just spectators like Bomba, Chi Chi, World Tournament announcer, etc, etc, who can also just be there to just add more dynamicism to the match. Almost forgot about trigger conditions. Trigger conditions are events that can actually happen when specific things occur during mid-battle. These are the things that we actually used to see in the earlier Tenkaichi games. You know when you would progress the story mode in the Tenkaichi game and they would say, press this button on your nunchuck to continue or whatever controller you're using, right? Well, these are basically those, except they are automatic triggers. And in Sparking Zero, all of those events are automatic triggers, including ones that happened in the story mode. Now, the trigger condition being set here is that when the ally, your target ally, is at 30% health or below, it will trigger an event and we have lots of events to pick from in this whether it be using a new super attack using an ultimate attack a character transforming a character gaining all of their health back a character gaining all of their key back and keep in mind cutscenes can precede these events or happen after these events the same way they did occur in a tankachi 2 and 3 games now 
please remember this when I say this. Any cutscene that happens in Tenkaichi 2 or 3, you can very easily recreate in this game. You can make an event where Frieza gets the half health and he does his dialogue about, well, it was fun, Goku. Now I'm going to use 50% of my power. And then he returns. He regains all of his health, gains several buffs, and then, you know, all of that all of that good stuff, right? You can really create, like, actual, like, legit boss battles in this. I'm very curious to see what the free idiots videos will be like. Because in Fighters, at first, they were just fighting really tough AI. And in Xenoverse, they're fighting modded enemies. But this is an actual game where, like, you can just make a boss fight to fight yourself. No modding expertise needed and no game dev knowledge needed. I'm very curious to see all the possibilities in general people will come up with because I can imagine at least a few billion Goku trapped and portrayed in the time chamber quests that last for ages. Also keep in mind with these trigger conditions, not only can you have a ton of different trigger effects on, you can have up to 50 different side effects happening for like just one mission. So here's a good example. At 30% HP, he will regain all of his key. Him and his allies regain all of, their all of their key. That's great. But that's only one of 50 effects that could be happening throughout the entire battle. Meaning, I think at bare minimum, we can have 50 different events triggering in the middle of a fight. I think you might be able to make singular missions that are just outright longer than like story modes. And I'm not kidding. I think there's, you, there's a very easy way to just make a mission that's actually just longer than the game's genuine campaign. Another thing I need to point out when it comes to the absurdity of these events, when I'm looking at the background images, not only do I see the exact locale and space where Goku and Beerus fight each other, the one particular one that's actually redone in the Dragon Ball Fighters dramatic finish, I can also see things like Chi Chi as an option towards the bottom of the screen. And even Shenron, if you look to the far left, there's an image of Shenron. So I think you can actually summon in the dragon himself, Shenron, for certain trigger events, as well as obviously Chi Chi being their support, their background characters will actually be available things that you can, you know, spawn in for cutscenes. I might go as far as to say that the possibilities so far are looking like so endless that I'm just gonna say that this is a pretty like, it's got like infinite potential. You could never have to play online PvP ever because there are so many unique events that other people will be making or hell, even you if you have a creative enough mind for it. I definitely don't, I'll say that. I'll check out everyone else's creations, but I don't have that ability. Uh, but this, this, this game actually has like near infinite single player replayability and that is astounding immense in fact for a dragon ball game and finally we have the character scenario effects now there's a lot of stuff to decipher here but i'm gonna go through as fast as possible since this video has gone on long enough scenarios are actually events where you can actually you know place the character and decide their exact movement their exact option and what the character should be doing how fast they move their frame rate and their dialogue it is a lot. You can also adjust the camera. There's so many different things. You could swap characters in and out. You could just make... Man, it's it's just the craziest mode ever. I don't think I can do enough justice by just saying what all of the options are. They, they are pretty visible, right? We don't get to see all of them, but the options are pretty visible. I will say, though, there was a very interesting line with Sparking Zero regarding the amount of voicing that will actually be in these. Because these have no voice in any of the previews shown so far. But there is actual voice lines recorded. So there has been over... 5,000 unique lines available in the edit mode. The edit mode is what they are calling the custom battle mode in Japanese, but there are over 5,000 unique lines. In a Q&A, they were asked, in edit mode, players can create various stories, but how much freedom can they have? And the answer they received was basically, you can freely arrange lines and characters. There are about 5,000 lines prepared and you can change the characters names in the text in to other characters names so the degree of freedom and customization is quite high we see this in the vegeta and beerus one where vegeta mentions kakarot's name despite goku not being on that mission or stage so characters can get randomly name dropped a good example is that you can have two characters fighting let's say ultra instant goku versus frieza for example and you can have frieza have a unique line like you're good but not as strong as tn and that would be like shocking you know you could just make any amount of story you want in dragon ball sparking zero in fact i think i think this is probably going to get played more than the actual story mode the second question asked is are there any stage gimmicks prepared and the answer was regarding gimmicks such as destruction they are basically the same as in battle mode however you can set ring outs in some stages and the next question was can you get rewards by playing in edit mode and the answer was no there are no rewards for playing in edit mode create or like you know other battles created by users but some battles in prepared scenarios can lead to unlocking elements. A good example is that Bandai Namco, you know, the devs in general, there are some developer-made custom battles, and if you beat those, you can unlock new rewards. 
but not, you know, something like what Goku was trapped and betrayed in the hyperbolic time chain, but you wouldn't get anything for beating Val. Although I do think you should get the secret story where UI, Goku, and Black Freezer team up. It seems like Sparking Zero didn't add that in, which is quite, you know, a disservice to the Dragon Ball community. Either way, I think that's a pretty good place to end the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please, again, let me know in the comment section down below what other scenarios would you like to see or people create. I can imagine some very obvious scenarios people will create, such as example, the last few fights in Jujutsu Kaisen, or maybe their favorite Naruto talk no jutsu moment. Hell, people might even start making Yusei run kind of moments. Just, it's not even just Dragon Ball. You can create any anime moment you want, except with Dragon Ball characters, which if, if it, let's be honest, that makes it better. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I think this is a pretty good place to end the video. I do hope you enjoyed. Love you all. And I will see you all next time. Take care and uh, peace.